Good evening and thanks for watching tonight. I'm Matt Davenport. We have an update to a story we first brought you nearly one year ago about a local school and its mascot. KPVI News that works for you journalist Kate Gardner has the story. Teton School District, summer 2019. I really worry that if we delay, that the rift will get bigger. And I hate it because I feel like it's a huge void in our community. After weeks of community discussions about the Teton High School mascot, the school board decided it was time to retire the Redskins. Um, all in favor say aye. 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 Days ago, the current board decided in accordance to its civil rights policy to move forward in finding a new mascot. That adopts a statement from the Civil Rights Commission guiding and encouraging schools to not use Native American names or imagery or logos in their high school mascots. The Redskin name and logo will be no more. Now, through May 26th, the community is invited to make a suggestion for the new mascot in an online survey. Nominations must meet certain criteria, like it must be sustainable, it must represent the community, and it must be usable in multiple formats. After the 26th, the mascot committee will narrow it down to the top 10, and then... Current 8th graders, as they'll be in the high school next year, and then all of our current high school students, grades 9 through 12, and the students will have a chance to vote and select what the new mascot will be. In the past, discussions about the mascot were often emotional for the community. To get to a place where we can talk about the issue and to compromise. I'm afraid of what we're going to drag each other through. So, the district is working to give everyone a chance to voice their opinion. I am certainly grateful for the interest that the community has had in this issue, and we are striving to respect that interest by keeping them informed and providing the survey and the chance for everyone to participate in the process. I'm Kate Garner reporting for KPVI News That Works For You.